my posse and hello all my new subscribers. I'm so happy to have my new subscribers uh, join my channel. I certainly am so appreciative of everybody. And of course, you know my posse. I'm very appreciative of you. I love you all. Thank you for spending your morning, afternoon, evening, whatever time you're watching me. Uh, thank you for spending your time with me. I've got some makeup reviews, and before I get into the makeup and the eye palette and the mascaras, really quick reviews and a perfume review. I just want to tell you uh, really quick that today my wig is that gale that I wore down. It's the long one, and I just have it pinned up today in the back, and uh, I think she's cute. It's easy to fix, kind of just with a clip in the back, and it's up. So I'm having a little hard time because my own hair underneath is still short. And so when it grows out a little bit and I'll be able to put that up, I don't think it'll stick out so much, but uh, otherwise, yeah, it's super cute. I love it. Uh, so I wanted to tell you that today and all my blouses, compliments of JC Penney's. <laughs> Not compliments, I bought it. But look at the puff sleeves. I mean, you could look, I don't know if you can see it. Hold on. Anyway, it ties at the waist. And, uh, but look, I mean, you know what I said in my other video, the bigger the shoulders, the smaller your butt. I'm telling you, it's true. My mother was right. She made all her own shoulder pads. And we used to ask her that all the time. She goes, Babs, you know, the bigger your shoulders, the smaller your butt. And we'd go, yeah, right, Mom. She's right. Anyway, I would wear it like that, of course. But anyway, it's cute. It's J.C. Penney's. So I wanted to tell you that. And I also wanted to tell you that last uh, video, I had two giveaways. I had my first prize and my second prize I gave. Uh, we did the drawings with my husband. Uh, the first prize gal, sorry, um, she didn't contact me. I don't know why, because she's usually on here. Uh, I feel really bad, sorry. But this, the second prize winner uh, was Raspberry Beret. I always want to say Raspberry Bouquet. So she won the second prize. So I made her the first prize. So I sent out her stuff today uh, in the first prize giveaway. The second prize giveaway, my husband pulled one this morning um, and it's right here. So I'm going to open it for you real quick because I haven't looked either yet. Uh, he just drew it out of the, the little drawer that I had. So today the second prize winner is guess who? Susie Q. We know Susie Q, right? If you don't know Susie Q, you got to go check out her channel. Susie Q, you won my book. So email me, darling. Give me your email address and congratulations, and I will get this out to you as soon as possible. Thank you, and thank you for um, uh, joining me in that giveaway. It was uh, it was a lot of fun, and I hope you enjoy um, the the prizes and the presents and what I've sent you. So on to the next giveaway. We're we're getting up there. So and the other thing I was going to tell you really really quick is. Um, Somebody had asked me if I have any special lighting in my cameras. I do not, and I know it's some of the stuff has been going around YouTube or something. I do not have any special lighting on my camera. I do not have pink lights. I do not have any kind of focusing issues. What you see is what you get. I don't, I, I have the, behind me I have a big picture window. The sun comes in from that. Um, and I, I haven't, I have not invested in any kind of big studio lighting or anything. So um, this is all natural, guys. So I just wanted to clear that up. That no, I do not use any filters. I do not use any special lighting or anything um, on my on my device, my phone device. And I don't even have a camera yet because I love my phone. So I don't love my editing so much, and I'm really having a hard time with that. But I'll get it. So right now I'm just going to go and show you really quick. Um, of course, you know, if we're going to do some foundations. I'm going to try to breeze through these. You know, I, I still love my Kat Von D, but, you know, uh, it's a little pricey. And I, I, I will get it again because I do love it. Um, and I wanted to tell you, and I've done a review on this before really quick with makeup, but if you're still looking for a really good cover makeup, it's the Revlon Color Stay Full Cover full cover makeup this is still really good the only problem that I have with this is trying to find a color for me you know they're all so yellow undertone I you know I saw a lady the other day sitting at the counter uh, eating and her she had a lot of makeup on which is fine but it was so yellow on her face I mean it almost looked 
like you're dead or something. I hate to say that, but I don't know. You get that color. I mean, I have to look at myself in the mirror and know that I'm at least pink. And every time I go and ask somebody about a pink undertone, evidently, excuse me, I got a hair and I, they don't make them. So they say, oh, just, you know, use blush and bronzers. Well, I don't really use bronzers on my face because um, I'm really olive and I have a lot of yellow pigment in my skin anyway. So I want to look pink. So yeah, I have a hard time with this one finding colors. I did find a couple here, 240 and 320, that I've mixed together that are pretty pretty close. But the coverage on this, don't be afraid to try this. The coverage is really great and it's not tacky. Like the Kat Von D is a little tacky when it goes on. This is not tacky at all uh, and I really love it a lot. And um, the one that I bought and we went to CVS the other night and I, my husband had like tons of coupons. You know I'm a CVS queen. Our, our bill was like 72 something. By the time my husband had all the coupons and the 30%, he actually had two 30% off. And we, we finagled them at the counter with the girl who's my girl I love. Um, she, my bill ended up being $15.32. Yeah, right, I know. So on some of my makeup that I'm showing you here, I, I think I got practically free. And this was one here that I wanted to try. I've heard some reviews about it. It's the L'Oreal. Um, and it is the uh, Freshwear uh, L'Oreal. And I mean, I would say save your money. But you know, reviews are reviews. These are my reviews. Some people might be watching this and go, oh my God, I just love that. That's really great. And you know, that's why we have reviews and that's why we're here to talk about, you know, if it's something that maybe you'd like to try, I, we can at least give you a personal review of what we think about it to either save your money. I just find this really, um, uh, really runny. Uh, it, you can see it on your hand. Even it just runs. I don't. I don't. I just like a little more uh, thickness. And you can see. I don't know. I got the light behind me. You can see that it's. Um, it goes on kind of like watery to me. And I'm not. Uh, the coverage is okay. It might be okay. And it's. It's kind of shimmery uh, to it. Um, it's. Um, eh. It's got a nice shimmer to it, but um, I, I won't. I wouldn't buy this. And if, if I didn't get it almost free, I'd probably have taken it back to CVS. It's just, it's. It doesn't say. Um, it's got sunscreen in it, but it doesn't say. It says 24 hours. Who wears their makeup 24 hours? Oh wait, I do because I don't wash my face at night. <gasps> so I guess I do. Maybe it did stay on. I don't know. I did wash my face though this week twice so uh, I'm getting there. I don't know. I find my face to get really drier when I wash it at night. I know that's crazy so don't listen to me. I'm only 76. What do I know about skin? <laughs> anyway but I you know it did stay on I guess. Didn't, I didn't see it rub off on my pillow so that's really good but I would not buy this again. And the other one that was been getting some hype lately is the new uh, Revlon. Uh, it's called Candid. Um, and it's brand new. I think it's uh, $12.99 or something. I, I, again, I couldn't find a color. I mean, I did try the samples in the store uh, at CVS. Uh, it is a little thicker um, consistency. It is, it's okay. It's okay. I mean, I'm not a lover of it. I didn't, again, it was a color thing. Um, I, I bought a couple of colors. I, did take one back because um, it was just awful. It was like ugh, chalk on my face, but it didn't even mix well with this. So the candid for me is a thumbs down. You may love it, uh, the consistency of it. I did not find the coverage to be that great. So that's a no for me. And of course, again, like I said to you, and I, I can't stress this enough to you, this is my all time favorite, my cover girl. Um, outlast all day and it is all day this is my favorite and I did find um, 860 and 855 that I've done for years this these two colors and, and I do two pumps of this and one pump of the uh, 860 and it's great and I what I did learn um, on a review not too long ago oh my gosh who reviewed it I'll put the link below. I know I'll think of it after because I watch her all the time. I'm, I drew a blank. But anyway, I've been putting this on, uh, the lighter one, which is 855 all over, because I, I just like my face lighter. It's just me. 
I mean, I don't want to walk around like Ghost City, but I like my face lighter. So she was saying that you take your darker sh sh uh, shades of makeup and you put it just on your cheekbones or on your jawline, you know, where you want to see some contour. I'm not usually contouring because, you know, I'm not, I'm not a gap model. I have to contour unless my cheeks were really rosy or I mean really big then I would uh, my dryer is going off again that bell every time I do a video that dryer sings but anyway so but I'm not real but this is really good for that I found that if I just put a little bit in here and a little bit on my chin then this isn't so white to to my neck and uh, I can I can kind of mix it up and I and I did like that tip that was a really good tip so if you're looking like to contour and of course you know your nose in here to contour uh, the darker shades is good too. And you know, because my nose was broke, we talked about that before, I'm really conscious of that, so I do darken that up again. But I'm telling you, I was at the store the other day too, and two ladies come up to me different times and asked me, they said, oh my gosh, your skin is so, you know, great. I love your makeup. What makeup are you using? I told you, every time I go out, it's this CoverGirl Atlas, it's just, it's flawless. It covers everything. This is my all-time favorite. I would never, ever be without that. I love it. And I've got a new concealer. It's not new, but I was listening to my gal Pam. You saw Pam, um, Pam Over 50 Beauty and Lifestyles. Anyway, she was doing a get ready with me. I love Pam. Hi, Pam. Um, and she reminded me, because she used this, of the uh, concealer which is Age Rewind Eraser Dark Circle Concealer. And honest to God, mine is, oh, what number is this? I think it's, it's the light anyway. It's the light. I never buy, I never buy a Moyer or whatever that is. I never buy, I always buy a light concealer. I just like the way light looks. Um, and I forget about it because you know, you go on and you try different things and then you like them and then you actually forget what you really liked before, that really stuck out with you before. And this was one that I really loved before that that I just forgot to buy until Pam did hers on it and she was doing, you know, the whole, you know, uh, concealer thing here and here and here and under the eye. And I was like, oh my gosh, I totally forgot. So I was excited to go and buy this again. And I do love it. And it's got the little sponge, you know, on the top. So, you know, it... Um, it puts it on and you just, you know, roll up the thing and um, it's, I don't know if you can see it, but it's got a really uh, nice under the eye, which I'm kind of got powder on it now, which I'm not really sure about that powder under the eye thing because it's kind of like drying to me, but I do it. <laughs> I don't know. I guess it's okay. But um, I don't put much on under the eye because I find that the powder is uh, kind of cakey. Uh, if you have a lot of wrinkles under the eye, it can become cakey, so you're better off to keep putting this on all day, I think. But anyway, this is great. So if you haven't tried this or you're looking at this and going, oh my God, I totally forgot about that. Here it is. I'm reminding you, kind of like, you know, like I did before on the colonoscopy. I'm reminding you to go get this. So this is really good. So you'll, you'll love this. And the other thing I was doing the other day, um, my granddaughter was putting some perfume on and she was spraying it on her chest. And I had said to her, I said, oh my God, don't spray it on your chest. And she goes, why? And I go, well, it'll dry out your chest. So it just reminded me um, to tell you uh, if you're doing perfumes and we all just kind of go like this and go like this and go like this, try not to put your perfume directly on your chest because it will dry out your chest. And you know, we all want, especially when we're older, you can get away with it when you're younger, gals. When you're older, you're looking for things to keep your chest and your neck um, moist, moisturized, and you moisturize and then you put the perfume on. And this is very drying in here, the perfume. So if you're gonna apply perfume behind your ears, on your wrist, or you can put it you know, lower, but just don't do your neck or your chest. And this one here is my all-time favorite. I don't know if you know what this is, but it's this Terry, I can't say, Mer, Merglu, Terry, I don't know. I threw away the box, but anyway, this is called Angel. And um, it's Muggler, M-U-G-L-E-R, sorry, Terry Muggler. Um, and this is called Angel. This scent is amazing. It is so soft. Another one that I wear out that I get a lot of compliments on, but it is really, really a great scent. CVS, 
this bottle, $59.99. Alta's, I think it was $89.99. Yeah. And they did take my one coupon. I had $6 off. You can't use the 30% on this because this is usually on sale at CVS. But yeah, it's great. Super great. Great stuff. Uh, and the other thing, really quick. <laughs> quick, yeah. Is um, I got, um, I, I want to give away from uh, Kathleen what the show about everything if you haven't subscribed to her you've got to go subscribe to kathleen uh her channel is hilarious she's on there with stella i love those girls they live in california and i'm so sad that i can't go and have a cocktail with them because you'll see stella on there drinking tequila you never know what's coming on kathleen's show but i want to give away and on the giveaway one of the giveaways was um this maybelline it's called soda pop Maybelline Soda Pop, and it's an eye palette. And when I got it, I was excited, but I thought, oh gosh, Kathleen, I'm not going to be able to wear this. But surprisingly so, I can wear these colors without my eyes itching. Go figure. I mean, go figure. So it's got like tons of colors in it, as you can see that I've used them. Uh, this one says Soda Fizz. This one is called um, Chillin'. This one is called Tonic. Uh, and then there's one called Super High, Sugar High, not Super High, Sugar High. Well, that would be me. I'm always on a donut sugar high. Uh, grape Pop, Blue Raspberry, Cherry Cola, Cherry on Top, Crushing, Ginger Ale, Cola Float, and Root Beer. And they're, they're Soda Pop. <laughs> and it's so cute. And I can wear absolutely every one of these beautiful beautiful colors um and i have worn it now since i got the giveaway from kathleen a while and i have not had not an ounce of itching so i am as shocked as you are i know right it's crazy i'm really shocked at that so that is my um that i think is what i wanted to tell you on the things that I like and the things that I'm keeping. I don't think there's anything else. Oh yeah, one more thing uh, that I found. I know I did my uh, review on the um, L'Oreal CoverGirl mascara that I really love with the purple top. Uh, I found this one and I did see a review on this and I can't remember who that was. But it's L'Oreal's uh, mascara and it's called the uh, Unlimited Mascara. And what I love, this is really, really good. My lashes do not stick together. What I really love about this is it's got the Christmas tree kind of cone. Anything that's Christmassy, I love, because I love Christmas. It's my favorite time of year. And what's cute about this, cute, is that it bends. So like if you're putting it on, you don't hit your nose you know and you can flip it this way and this doesn't hit your nose so it's it bends you don't have that straight wand on it and really it's uh it's great mascara it i find it even in my um i went out and splurged on a mirror that's five times is it five times or three times that's as far as i go that's even looking into that you want to go <laughs> but anyway but no clumps so I'm really happy with this. So the uh, L'Oreal, and I do buy waterproof. I know sometimes the girls at Alta will tell you that they're finding out. She, she told me, that, well, I, one of the girls, she says, well, you know, you shouldn't really wear waterproof because it's going to make your eyelashes fall out eventually and you're going to have really thin eyelashes. And we're trying to, you know, keep our customers away from waterproof. I looked at her, I said, I'm 76, take a look at my eyelashes. I don't think I've lost one unless I pulled it out myself. So I don't buy some of that hype that they're pushing. So waterproof to me is the way to go. So I think that is all I got. And of course, you know, you have the little bun thing for your hair. This is absolutely awesome for cleaning your uh, your brushes. You, you probably all know that though. Well, that's, you know, I'm probably not telling you anything new, but you know, the little, these little things are so cheap and they just seem to clean your brushes in between putting your shadows on. So I think that's all I got for you today. Uh, like, I, let me check. Anyway, yeah, that's, that's all I got. So try those makeups. 
if you like them and if you have tried the CoverGirl and you've taken my advice, leave me a comment down below because I'd love to know how you think about CoverGirl. You know, re reviews are reviews and um, you know, we're here to try to guide you and help you and uh, let you try different things and let you know what's good for us. And just remember, no matter what you put on the surface of your face, you've got to take care of the canvas of your face. And we've already talked about the 10 second rule and the canvas of your face that's more important because you could put gold on your face in makeup and spend $200 for a bottle of makeup. But if your canvas isn't, isn't in good shape, nothing's gonna look good on your skin. So no matter what kind of makeup you use, you gotta take care of the moisturizer and the, can, the canvas of your skin. And whatever moisturizer that you love and that you feel is working for you, stick with it. You know, I mean, I change it up a lot. I, I, I don't think I've ever changed up product as much as since I've been a YouTuber because I try different things. And some of the things that I bought that I've taken people's word for on the reviews is not good for me. I won't even review them and tell you that they're terrible because I wouldn't want to hurt the other YouTuber that's promoting them. But yeah, I, I stick to what works for me. You know your skin, you know what works for you. And um and do what's best for you. And remember that somebody gave me a comment uh, last week that they didn't find themselves in the, I forget how she worded it, didn't find themselves in the, in the beauty category, but she had beauty sense. And I think that was just profound. That was like the greatest line I've ever heard because we all have a sense of beauty. And it may not be exterior, but it could be inside. And I, I, I think I responded by telling her that I knew a girl who was not very attractive, um, feature-wise for feature-wise, but um, she fixed herself and she did the best she could, but I'm telling you, she walked in a room and heads turned because she radiated from the inside such a bubbly essence that everybody kind of congregated to her when we would be out because everybody wanted to be her friend. Her, her, just, her beauty just popped out whether she was beautiful on the outside or not. It, it's how you carry yourself. So everybody has a sense of beauty and it's in, inside. And if you walk around with a frown on your face, I don't care if you're the most beautiful woman out there. If you walk around and you're crabby and you're negative and you don't have a good sense about yourself or you take your feelings with you, how you feel, you're not gonna be pretty no matter what you put on your face. So just be happy with yourself. Um, and you know, makeup is just a, a surface to play around with and have fun and try different effects, but it isn't really who you are. That comes from inside. So on that note, uh, I'm gonna go, oh, really quick to, I'm just gonna tell you this, I forgot. Uh, I found this uh, uplifting rosemary coconut milk lotion at Ulta's. Um, and I love this stuff. This is like really great for your body. You know how I'm big on um, moisturizing your body and doing it, and we, we've, the whole family has tried this and it's great. So I wanted to throw that in. So anyway, I am done for today. Oh, what did I do? I'm gonna have to edit. So I hope you stick with me through the whole video uh, and uh, hope you'll try some of this and um, hope I gave you some tips and I love you guys very much and I appreciate you all. Share me, pass me around, um, maybe get to the next plateau. I know I keep saying when I hit a thousand, I'm gonna give away a biggie, but I, uh, my husband goes, yeah, right. And I go, yeah, I am, I am. So anyway, so uh, congratulations to my Suzy Q. Suzy Q, you know I love you. Uh, I really enjoy you. Uh, go pay her a visit. Go pay Kathleen a visit. What? The show about everything. And make sure you go see Pam. I will link their channels below. I love those girls. I love a lot of people on here. I try not to put out too many videos because uh, I would rather do a long one and have you enjoy me than just pump them out two or three times a week. I ain't got time for that. I got a sick guy that I got a baby and take care of, I can't. Anyway, so I hope you enjoyed today. I'll see you soon, bye. Love you guys, bye.